Hi everyone, Nolan here from eLearning Portal and as promised in today's video I'll show you how to create an embedded question uh, making use of the virus uh, plugin. Okay? So in our previous video we created two uh, question types or one question type, the short answer question type. So let's click on create a new question. Scroll down and select the close answer question or the close question type or the embedded answer question type. So select it and click on add. Okay, so again, we need to provide a question name. And for our question name, we'll type in complete the table by making use of relationship. Okay, now let's copy this and paste it here. Okay, and now let's type in the relationship that we want the learners to use. So let's click on the virus math equation editor. And for our relationship, we'll use y equals minus 5x plus 2. Okay, let's click on insert. Okay, so let's increase the size here. Let's make that medium and then center. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so just underneath here, I want to create a table where the learners will provide uh, the answers within the table by completing the table. Okay, so in our Atto editor, let's click on table, the table icon. Or the table menu and this pop-up appears okay uh, now we need we can include a caption and we can uh, specify the caption position okay so I'll leave that as blank then define the headers on we'll make that both on the columns and the rows okay I'll choose both then I want to create a table consisting of two rows and then let's make it Let's make this six columns. Okay. Then for my borders, I want to create around each cell and then specify solid for the style of the border. And then I can increase the pixels of the border size. I'll leave it as on one. Then I can choose the color of my border. I'll choose here the blue color and also a background color for uh, my table. Uh, and I'll leave this as is, okay? I can either specify 100% or 30% or what else, but I'll leave it as blank, okay? Let's clear, click on create a table. All right, so there my table is inserted, okay? So in my first cell, this will be my X values. So in this row here will be my X values. So let's add up X values to, let's make that three and four, and let's make that seven. Okay, and now for my Y values, uh, this will be, I can add the virus equation editor, this will be Y equals, it's minus 5X plus 2. Okay, so that will be my Y values. Okay, so now learners should be able to type in their answers here. Okay, so what makes uh, virus so special is that uh, we can actually use a pop-up um, equation editor where they can add their answers. Okay, and I'll show you now. So for this, we'll use the curly braces, open and close. Then we'll specify uh, the grade of this question. Okay, so uh, the marks will be one. And here I specify it's a sort answer and then colon equals and the correct answer okay so my first correct answer will be minus three and now i can copy and paste this to these cells okay and now i can just change the correct answer okay so this will be minus eight and this will be minus 13 and this will be minus 18 and this will be minus 33 okay correct here okay great okay so let's just center this 
So we'll use the center there. Okay. So now I have my question there. Let's just decrease the space here between these two. Okay, so there's my table. Now I scroll down. I can provide general feedback. Now I need to click on decode and verify the question text. This will allow me to see the correct answer for each of the X values. Okay, so let's decode and verify. So if I scroll down, I'll see now all my, my question with my answers. Okay, my question with my correct answer and my default mark. Okay, so now the wire is variable. Let's click on the gear icon. And we select the input option. And let's choose the math editor in my pop-up. Okay. And let's click on save. Let's click on save changes. And now you can see there's my question created. And when I click on preview, You'll see there's my question, my table, and now the learners can select the pop-up editor. They can either write on their tablets their answer or they can uh, type in their answer here. So let's test it. This is minus three, except uh, this is minus eight. Minus eight, except this will be minus 13 except and this will be let's say this is 18 except and let's say this is just 33 that's just the test okay let's submit and finish and now you'll see that uh, two of my questions three of my questions are correct and the last two are incorrect okay and this is how easy it is to create a virus embedded question.